Logic Benson from Impali stirred hearts in an interview, calling out the industry's toxic jealousy that's tearing us apart. Despite the beef with Kiddist, he still vibes to Yo Map's tunes daily. Let's mend fences and unite. Catch the interview now. And for more updates, follow Emma Kukopala's Facebook page. We are not as united as Nigerians, Kenyans, people from Rwanda, you know. I think I could say we are cursed. We are cursed with wanting to see each other down. Mm. Because we, we think Uyumzanga Kachokapa as a blower in Nzasara Kumbu. You know? And in a way, it takes away so much from how we should grow, from how we should support each other. Because a lot of us are jealous of each other. I'm, I'm, I'm less than 30. I'm not going to be 30 soon. And the things I have done, the things that other people in the industry have not done. So for some people, it's alarming. For some people, they think, ah, they, they, they feel like, ah. But that's not how it's supposed to be. We are graced differently. Some of us, the sort of grace that we have is the one that breaks protocol. So if somebody believes or they don't believe, I'm still going to make it because the level of faith that I have in the things that I do is beyond anyone's comprehension. I don't even comprehend myself. I am a force that whether you reckon with or not, I will still penetrate. That's how far I'm not even for Zambia just as an individual. You know, my wife was telling me the other day, the reason why people sometimes can't buy your content is because it's not meant for this country. I saw some, some man of God, Prophet uh, Payazi, wrote something, some good one year plus months ago. He said, Zambia is not ready for this young man. Let's watch him very carefully because the world is ready for him. We are not ready for him. That's me. What's your relationship like with, with Frank Sibu? He's my mentor. I respect him so much. He, he's the reason why I'm here. I know there's been people in the past that prepared me for the opportunity, but he gave the opportunity. Our relationship is still intact, and it's, it, it's going to remain like that. If you don't find logic funny, I'm not responsible for what you're going through. My 2024 motto is I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I didn't rise and by taking down others. So I'm not a young man that believes in the downfall of others being my, 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 my rise. Mm. No. So I have so much respect for your maps and his wife and all the things she may have said to me. I respect that because that's how she feels, that's how she thinks. I'm not a traitor. She called me that. Um, but they must know. I listen to your maps music every single day of my life. It uplifts me. So, and on a personal level, the relationship we had, I respect all of that because it makes us uh, unique and, and friends. But if they chose to stay away because they think I am doing something against them, it is their decision to me. At the end of the day, if I died today, the world will continue. You know what I mean? If, uh, if anybody dies, following the people will come on my funeral and cook shima, they will sing, cry, uh, share my property clothes. The following day, they move on with their life like I never existed. So I'm not afraid of losing friends anymore. I'm not afraid of losing colleagues, I'm not afraid of losing um, fellow celebrities. But one day it's gonna make sense because I, I don't rejoice in people being enemies. I don't rejoice in people hating each other. It doesn't make me happy. My prayer is that one day God will speak to them and, and hopefully is gonna guide. So, I'm not in this business to bring down anyone.